Hello everyone, welcome to the seventh installment of uh, Investor Psychology. I'm Christian Chua, a little bit more about my character in case uh, my subscriber wants to know more about me. I'm uh, 54 years old, going to be 55. I know I don't look a, a day older than 40. If you want, would you like to know um, how do I maintain my youthfulness? Say yes. Okay, so since you insist, in order to look youthful, be very, very athletic, um, every weekend I would um, watch football. Okay, what else do I do for my pastime? I like plants, I play, I'm, I game, I do gaming, I, I enjoy like a little kid, uh, although I'm a boomer. I also enjoy, um, I enjoy music and I enjoy speaking on stage. And what do I speak on stage? Body language, I, I, I'm a face uh, profiling expert, I read features of people's face and I tell them their characters. So right into today's three tips. Um, tip number 19. Can you be honest with me? How many times did you lose money because of greed? How often is that because you FOMO, it's like in a tulip case, um, perhaps it was Forex or crypto or even a counter when it's time to sell, you just get adding it on or you heard a tip or rumor, uh, you thought oh, it's an insider tip, so I'm gonna buy, you know, if I just have one, this is one big win, it would have solved all my financial problems. How many of you have gone through that? Give me a raise of hand. Okay, so I have gone through that too. So because of greed, uh, more than once, uh, I shouldn't have lost the money that I lost, okay? I'm going to repeat this, what I said in my earlier videos. If this money were my children's inheritance, would I invest in this stock? So it acts like a safeguard. Would I gamble away my children's inheritance? And the question is no. So I cannot behave like a, like a gambler. I must inv in behave like an investor. Even better, I asked my uh, two kids whether they would like to put some money uh, together in my investment. You know, that, that is so useful because right now, I know if I lose money, I lose my kids' money. With that kind of psychology, I became a lot less reckless and a lot more careful in how I pick a stock, okay? Um, so be honest with yourself. How often you lost money because you were greedy. So stop that. Uh, number two, I always hear this, I would call it almost amateurish when people say, don't worry, you know why I hold to a lost stock? Because what goes up must come down. No, that's gravity. Okay? Not everything goes up must come down. Your age goes up, it doesn't come down, something sink to the bottom of the sea and never got revived. So don't have nonsensical mantras that you live by but holds no cloud. You know, mantras like, you know, what don't kill you only makes you stronger. No, some things that you take don't kill you but weakens you, okay? Alcohol, nicotine, it weakens you. So uh, such mantras like what goes up must come down, what comes goes down must come up. These are erroneous mantras. Don't follow them, please. After this video, go think through how many other mantras that you have put into your subconscious mind that you are following and you keep repeating to yourself and to your friends and they are erroneous and you lose money because of that. Okay, and uh, my final tip is, you know, don't feel silly if you need to admit and to rectify a uh, mistake. If you made a mistake, uh, you know, people try to cope by uh, denying or they try to create their own story to make themselves feel better but the uh, as a speaker and as a trainer and by the way i've been on paid stage paid on to be on stage more than 2500 times just in case you want to know my credential so i'm a hired uh, speaker for more than 2500 times on stage and one some of the worst people to talk to uh those that don't want to change okay so we are in a transformation business we are not here in, we are not just in a content business but we as a motivational speaker we want to speak in a way that you have a mind shift and the most difficult people are those who refuse to have that new shift 
Okay, so I hope you enjoy this content and I'll, I'll come back again and the next time the suit will be different, the colors will be different. So I hope you have enjoyed the last seven sessions. Christian Chua signing out.